Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well. Today, in this video I want to talk to you about Unholy DK and how one of my favourite specs in the history of WoW was just completely ruined in Wrath and hopefully fixed in Cutter. So let's get into it. I actually thoroughly enjoy Unholy DK. Like, I really, really do. It's one of my favourite specs generally over the last few years. I played it in retail, I tried to play it in Wrath. But it was just horrible. I love playing around dot specs and Unholy has a good mix of like insane cooldowns and dots. But the Morbius spec was just so much stronger that it just took the spec I enjoyed and killed all the fun stuff. There was no big scored strikes. There was no two hand weapons. You basically became an auto attack simulator and that's not fun. Well, in Kata Unholy returns to glory and is a spec that can be competitive right at the top of the meters. One interesting thing to note is the footage in the background was filmed with my DK being 85 about two hours in and awful gear and still very competitive on damage, even topping AoE fights and competing with a arms warrior that was like 20 eye level higher than me. Festering Strike is a new addition in Cataclysm that introduces a Blood Frost rune spender to deal an okay amount of damage but increased duration on disease effects, which is just crazy. Those that enjoy PvP see Necrotic Strike added. Now, whilst all specs get this, Unholy makes the greatest use out of it, with just relentless pet damage and disease damage rotting people down whilst Necrotic Strike absorbs all the healing. So let's talk about the PvE gameplay. Unholy DK returns to what it should have been in Wrath. Apply dots, spend Unholy runes on Scourge Strike and Death and Decay, Blood Frost runes on maintaining diseases, now through Festering Strike, Death Coil is exceptionally important now, doing a decent amount of damage, empowering your pet, applying an additional dot through Unholy Blight, and giving a 3 second 100% increase rune regeneration through runic empowerment. Overall it feels very very fluid, and as you play in Unholy Present it just feels fast paced and incredibly enjoyable. Unholy DK in Wrath is 100% based on your gargoyle. You snapshot it to do the maximum amount of damage in a fight, and if for whatever reason it gets desynced, or is spawned at a bad time, or bloodlust is delayed, or anything, you can really kiss your DPS away. Now it is still a major cooldown in Cataclysm, but on the private servers that play on the 4.3.4 patch, with none of the nonsense Blizzard implemented in Wrath Classic, Gargoyle wasn't even my top damaging ability in a 30 second fight where it was up for the entire time, Scourge Strike was. And whilst it still allowed me to burst 30k DPS in almost no gear, it doesn't feel as fight making. And overall I think Unholy DK is a much better spec in Wrath, it still build, it brings like Ebb and Plague and things like that, it brings the combat res, it just has so much utility and will be able to help top meters. So if you enjoy Unholy DK in Wrath, then maybe it's a, it is a very different spec if you play it properly in Kata. So let me know what you think. Are you going to be playing Unholy DK? Is it something that you're going to try out in, in Kata? Let me know in the video and thanks for watching. Bye.